Okay, so get this. I was, you know, just scrolling around online the other day, and I came across this idea that, like, certain fruits can help uh, cleanse your kidneys naturally. Oh, wow. Yeah, it sounds kind of out there. Yeah. So I found this article um, from Graphic Online, and the title is uh, Eight Fruits That Help Cleanse Kidney Naturally. Mm -hmm. And I thought we could do a deep dive on it, right? Like, is there any truth to this whole fruit as kidney cleanser thing? I don't even know where to begin. Well, I mean, there's definitely a lot of interest these days in, you know, food as medicine. And I think it's natural that people would be curious about natural ways to, you know, support their kidney health. Right. But before we jump into, like, specific fruits and all that, I think it's important to take a step back and just remember what the kidneys do. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they're pretty amazing organs, right? Yeah. They filter waste products from our blood. They regulate blood pressure. They even help produce red blood cells. Okay, so they're pretty important. Yeah, so even though some foods can support overall kidney health, it's also really important to remember that, you know, if you have serious kidney issues, you really need to see a doctor. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so this article, um, it lists eight specific fruits that are supposed to be good for kidney health, right? Right. So let's just dive in and see what they are, and then maybe we can talk about whether there's, like, actual scientific evidence to support these claims. Sounds good. All right, so first up, we have... Cranberries, which are often, you know, touted as being good for urinary tract health. Right. So does that, like, extend to the kidneys as well? That's a good question. So cranberries, they contain these compounds called proanthocyanidins, or PACs for short. And these PACs can actually help prevent bacteria from sticking to the walls of the urinary tract. Interesting. Yeah. And so while that's more directly related to, like, bladder health, it's thought that by you know, reducing the overall bacterial load, cranberries could indirectly benefit kidney health as well. So maybe not a direct kidney cleanser, but a good supporter. Exactly. Okay, so what about, you know, incorporating cranberries into your diet? Any tips? Sure. You can enjoy them fresh, dried. You can have cranberry juice. Right. Just be mindful of the added sugar, especially in the juice. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, moving on to the next fruit on the list, we've got red grapes. Okay. What makes these stand out? So red grapes, especially their skins, are a great source of this really powerful antioxidant called resveratrol. Have you heard of that? I have, yeah. Yeah, and research suggests that resveratrol may protect against kidney damage that's caused by, you know, things like oxidative stress and inflammation. So those antioxidants are working hard. They are. Okay, the next one is kind of a surprise to me. Strawberries. Yeah. What's the connection to kidney health here? So strawberries are loaded with vitamin C, which is another antioxidant that helps neutralize harmful free radicals in the body. Mm -hmm. Now, we need more research to understand the direct impact on kidneys. But some studies have shown that, like, adequate vitamin C intake is associated with better kidney function, especially in people with chronic kidney disease. Interesting. So I usually think of strawberries as, you know, summer treat, but maybe I should be eating them all year round. Maybe so. All right, up next we have blueberries, which the article also mentions as being kidney friendly. And I mean, we all know blueberries are kind of a superfood. Definitely. So what makes them so special for our kidneys? Yeah, you're right. They are often called a superfood and for good reason. They're high in antioxidants and yeah. specifically these things called andocyanins, which are known for their anti-inflammatory properties. Okay. And some studies have shown that those compounds might help protect the kidneys from damage. Wow. Another win for antioxidants. Exactly. All right, what about raspberries? Anything noteworthy about these berries when it comes to kidney health? Yeah, so raspberries are similar to blueberries in that they're also rich in antioxidants. Mm -hmm. And one in particular is called elagic acid. And early research suggests that this elagic acid might have a protective effect on the kidneys. Interesting. But again, you know, we do need more studies to really confirm these findings. Yeah, it seems like a recurring theme here is the power of antioxidants. Definitely a pattern emerging. Okay, speaking of antioxidants, this article also highlights apples as being good for kidney health. So tell me more about that. Yeah, so apples are a good source of fiber. Right. And fiber can help regulate blood sugar levels and improve digestion. Okay. And while that's not, like, directly related to kidney function, you know, maintaining stable blood sugar levels is really important for overall health, including kidney health. Right. Especially for people with diabetes. So apples but might not be, like, a direct kidney cleanser, but they contribute to a healthy body overall, which then helps the kidneys. Exactly. Okay, next we have a tropical fruit, pineapple. 
Ooh, nice. What's the connection to kidney health here? So pineapple contains this enzyme called bromelain, and it's known for its anti-inflammatory properties. Oh, yeah. And so some people believe that bromelain may help reduce inflammation in the kidneys, but we really need more research on that. The evidence is limited. Okay, so more research is needed there, but pineapple, it's still delicious. Oh, yeah. All right, last but not least, we have cherries. What makes them kidney-friendly? Cherries, like many of the fruits we've talked about, are high in those anthocyanin antioxidants. And they may offer some protection against kidney damage. But again, more research is needed. Right, more research is needed. So, okay, we've covered all eight fruits. Mm. Cranberries, red grapes, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, apples, pineapple, and cherries. That's a lot of fruit. It is a lot of fruit, yeah. And it seems like the takeaway here is that a lot of these fruits are packed with antioxidants, which can have, you know, all sorts of health benefits, including protecting our kidneys. Yeah, that's a great summary. And it's important to remember, you know, that while these fruits can contribute to your overall health, and that includes your kidney health, you shouldn't think of them as a cure-all for any kidney problems. Right, right. If you're concerned about your kidney health, you really need to talk to a doctor. For sure. This has been a really uh, insightful deep dive. It definitely shows how important it is to eat a variety of fruits for our health. Definitely. And it makes me wonder, we've talked a lot about diet, but what other lifestyle factors are there that could help support our kidneys? That is an excellent question. We encourage all of our listeners to think about that. And of course, always talk to your doctor to get personalized advice. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into the world of fruits and kidney health. Thanks for having me.